Welcome back to my channel and this is a tutorial on how to draw a dog. First, we are going to start off with the dog's nose. Draw a curve like so. Then create two hooks underneath this curve on both respective sides. From here, connect these two hooks with another curve that's elongated downwards towards the south. Finally, fill in the missing gap on both sides where our nostrils will be located. From here, draw a vertical line downwards and then draw two curves on both sides to create a shape of a mouth. Make sure to add a little mouth in between the two lines and then finally draw the chin by adding another curve. From here create a gap in between at finger length and then connect the two ends of the lines with one big massive curve and here you completed the mouth. Going back to the center, we're going to draw a vertical line that goes upwards, create a tiny triangle in between where we will add more shading to it later. Here I made a mistake with the size of the mouse so do not be afraid to rub out your mistakes and correct them. Starting from the middle of the curve, draw some faint lines that go horizontal and draw it up to the midpoint. Do the same thing on the same side and create these lines like so. Remember to keep them faint as right now you're only doing a sketch. The shading will come later on in this video. Now it's time to map out the eyes. Draw a curve nearer to the edge like so. Then from here start drawing a more almond shape. Mapping the whole thing out gently like so. Make sure when connecting the two lines together that you leave a little curve at the end of the eye. For more detail, draw two circles in the eye, one that is significantly longer than the other. The second circle will be your pupil, while the first circle will be your highlight. Now do the same thing on the other side like so. Feel free to pause this video when needed and take your time while sketching this out. face is almost complete, now it's time to do the whole face and the ears. Starting from one of the corners, we're going to draw faint lines which will act like fur and we're gonna draw this out like a curve which will become let's say the jawline of the dog. Then draw another curvaceous line like so, this is where the ears will be located. Now we're going to do the same on the other side. From the curves that we created for the ears, extend a flick outwards. This will be the little flaps of the ears. Draw these out like so. Now from the ear flaps we just created, Draw a massive curve which will act like the ears and draw the rest of the ears out and the whole head shape like so. Again, make sure to do the same thing on the other side and make sure the lengths are equal. Feel free to pause this video when needed to. 
again if you make any mistakes feel free to always rub it out and correct your mistakes and the shape here I was struggling with the ear so I fixed it up a bit now that the head of our dog is almost complete we got one final step from the corners of the ears to the face draw a curve which will become the body of the dog make sure to do this on both sides and draw it out like so we've got the sketch of the dog completed now it's time to shade it in we're going to start off with the nose again here I'm going to start off with the nostrils as they're the darkest places for shadows then I'm going to gradually create a gradient from dark to light remember for the darker shadows you add more pressure to your pencil and for the lighter shadow you add the least amount of pressure to your pencil for any highlights you can also create little circles to remember where you locate your highlights that way you can avoid shading them while you do your shadows remember to start off with the corners of the nose where it's darkest and gradually make your way to the middle of the nose where it will gradually become lighter make sure to do the shading out as follows feel free to slow down or pause the video at any moment and take your time while shading this out now that our nose is complete it's time to do the fur when doing dog's fur make sure to keep the strokes same direction as well as making sure to point out where the shadows and highlights go face your pencil in a certain way that way you can create soft strokes as dog fur is usually soft not rough you can also use a rubber to rub out any highlighted areas and also use your finger to smooth out any rough shading work your way throughout the whole sketch and make sure to keep your lines to a certain direction also on the edges of the dog make sure to add more specific lines to create a fur like effect if you do this calmly and effectively your dog will look more realistic always feel free to either slow down the video pause the video at any moment and make sure to take your time while shading remember doing more makes the drawing look more realistic Make sure to not to forget to add details to the eyes. Also, do not be afraid to make any shadows darker if necessary. Last but not least, don't forget to add the whiskers. And here is your finished drawing of a dog. Thank you for watching, subscribe and like for more videos and tutorials and I'll see you next time.